Hello, hello, this is Ilze B, Life and Business Coach. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am not alone. Today I am together with my son. Phillips. <laughs> Phillips Berzins. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Phillips uh, Berzins. Did you notice he has S's at the end of his name and his surname? You know why? Because he's a male. And I have uh, Berz, uh, the surname is Berzina, and that's because I'm a female. Latvians distinguish things like that. Anyway, yeah, this is my son, okay. Philips, Philips Berzins, and you might uh, have seen his videos on my channel as well. Anyway, uh, Philips, did you see my uh, video where I explained <laughs> Latvian independence in a nutshell? I did see that video. <laughs> uh, it was a good video. Yes, and after that video, uh, I received several emails from people, actually quite a bunch of emails from people, and they said thank you because I explained it in a very simplified language. I was a little worried how people would take it, but they actually said thank you because it was like the sources that were they were reading about it, it was too detailed. And now they understood the main things, and if they want to read details, of course, the information is available. So I was thinking, how about today we use the same approach and speak very simple language and talk about things that we both are interested in. I can kick, I can kick it off with starting, to, I have a lot of things I'm interested in. <laughs> Uh, but money is one thing that I'm interested in okay. because I uh, teach people I see and, now. and coach people uh, how to make money, basically how to grow their businesses. And by grow, I mean really grow. Okay. And the other thing money. is history. Okay. <laughs> and you are interested in money as well. Yes. So I, I am a finance and banking major and uh, my motivation behind that is I am determined to understand as much as I can money. And I started off with the question, what am I going to do uh, to earn money? And first things first was trying to understand. So as far as uh, that goes, I'm fascinated and I'm excited to talk about it yeah. here today. I'm also interested in money and I had the same approach because when I came to this country, you know what were the first uh, courses that I took? One was accounting, the other one was uh, law. Uh, Aha! Yeah. <laughs> I took an environmental business law course as well, <laughs> but yeah. Law? And uh, money helped understand how things work. work yeah. Yeah, we see things uh, similarly, no wonder <laughs> we <Yeah>. are related. <laughs> but let's get to the subject. What I wanted to talk about is uh, it originated in the conversation that we had earlier today with my parents or grandparents when they mentioned what happens on Latvian border. Oh. And that is uh, that this is a result of what happened on Polish-Belarus uh, border. Now the things have escalated because uh, Poland closed their border. Uh, okay. Now immigrants are coming uh, from Middle East through Belarus and into Latvia. It's, if it's I understand it, it sounds like you want to get into... Well, because from what we were talking earlier, my grandparents, the conversation that proceeded about from that was the global... Uh, environment. Uh, that is right, yeah. I just wanted to mention this is where we are coming from. We want to uh, talk about it. We are not going to hopefully get too deep into politics. Uh, We're not trying all. to push any beliefs. Yes, it's mostly because what happens and we where we anchor our thinking in is really this uh, okay. this this thing but but what happens in stock market because you are interested in stock market yes. and I have I have learned quite a few things from you taught me some things about stock yeah. market so <laughs> yeah. investing is uh of course, for most people, I mean, for everybody, they, they might look at it as a little of a scary thing. You can lose money and there's the big Wall Street that will try and take your money and there's always losers and there's bloodshed and all that. But you don't have to actually, it's not actually necessarily like that. The perception of people's understanding of that is a little misunderstood and hopefully we can clear it up a little but bit. But you here. can lose and of course it's like up to you either you invest or not. It's just the conversation yes, of about course. what we can observe when we look at the stock market right now mm -hmm. compared to how it was let's say a year ago or two years ago. So what are we observing? Uh, okay, global 
market. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of things going on. I'd say the first thing that everybody here can probably agree with is that gas is expensive, and that is mostly due to inflation, which is in fact almost exactly double the rate at which the Fed tries to maintain it at. Okay, we relocated because the sun was <laughs> in our faces, but what are you observing? What's going on on the stock market? It's like what's well, really, the biggest yeah. elephant in the room is definitely like the gas price is going up. I've noticed everybody complaining about that. I like that you mentioned that. So why are oil okay. prices going up? Well, um, it's not just oil, obviously, right. everything, but because uh, it's all connected, you can't right. just single out one thing. Uh, but I would say the main reason why it's going up is, well, supply and demand, of course, and liquidity of just the general amount of money in the general in the entire U.S. economy, I would say, is a big uh, reason why this is happening. Uh, okay, so so explain supply and demand because people might not understand what what what, what you mean. Okay, okay, supply by whom, demand by whom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the United States used to be oil efficient, uh, but currently there's a lot of pressure on OPEC to supply oil. Uh, to the entire world. The United States, uh, everybody needs oil and no matter how many times we ask them to not raise the prices, they continue to do it. Of course, isn't that <laughs> like reasonable? If you know that you can, you can ask whatever you want, you raise the prices, correct? Well, yeah. people believe what they believe. Yeah. Okay, so now we understand that part. We Do we want to dive deeper here? Uh, well, we understand the oil prices are going up. Uh, everybody understands that. And okay. for I'm sure that most people can understand that when people demand oil and then there's a certain amount of supply, it will go up. But that's not the only thing because everything is going up in value. So does that mean everything is getting scarce? No. So the next big issue is supply chain issues. And that's a huge problem. What seems to be runaway transitory inflation, the Federal Reserve called the transitory. It's not runaway, but if, if, if it's called transitory, then I'd say runaway transitory. But it's high inflation, so there's a lot of new money in the system, in the general economy. So what that means is that people are what they're doing with the, all the money they're getting is they're trying to get in on a lot of things that are going up. Okay, uh, so let's talk about that. I, mm -hmm. I liked it because I wanted to actually ask that question. So what are people buying? What are you observing? Well, it seems that there's a lot of new investors that, that are being reckless with their money by putting it into things that they hope will make them rich, which is, you know, it can and it can't and doesn't, does for some people and it doesn't. So there's winners and there's losers. Um, Always, yeah. Yeah. But uh, one major thing is definitely uh, like Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies are getting very uh, hype. I'd say the price of it is because a lot of it is because of the hype, but there's also actual utility, of course. Uh, but that's one thing that has seen inflation because uh, when you when you compare the strength of the dollar to other commodities or currencies, uh, the more you print out of this, the higher this will go, right? So a lot of what I would say is uh, inflated right now is because of the supply. Interestingly though, but the biggest money controlling uh, I'd say entity, the Federal Reserve, what controls the supply of money is actually tapering asset purchases right now. Uh, and they, they will continue to do that. And what that means is that they're going to buy less and less of bonds. Uh, and what that means for the economy is that there's going to be less and less money, come new money coming in. So all these things that are inflated right now, uh, not all of them, Actually, a lot of the things that are overinflated, because uh, a lot of non-value stuff, no value has. I mean, well, if you look, yeah, yeah. It, uh, I don't know if you've heard of NFTs. Mm -hmm. Also, like some pictures that are worth half a million dollars, just a picture of like something. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say invest in things that you use and that you know that you expect to be around. 
for 10 plus years. So if you've been using something for 10 years and you see you're still, yourself still using it for 10 years. But we are not giving advice. Neither it, I nor do. But I'm not, I'm not yeah. giving any specific investment advice on a specific yeah. company. I'm just telling you to... Just what makes sense. Yeah, just... Just what makes sense. Yeah, what, yeah. what you use is what you should... Yeah. The, the big issue here is people are, are risking their money in things that they don't... They've never heard of. Right. And uh, they just see it go up a lot and they get excited. Oh, and I have been one of those people. And I've learned, <laughs> so I can speak because I'm one of those people. And I've had to make my, uh, I've had my mistakes and I've had to learn from them. So uh, yeah. I understand. <laughs> but being there, having done that for those that have not invested, this is my warning. Be careful where you put your money. <laughs> right. And question to close up, but it's not going to mm -hmm. probably you're not going to answer it uh, briefly, but just to tie it in, but not go into its specifics. Okay. Because I started with what happens on the Latvian border globally, the forces, the main forces that actually okay. Uh, Im uh, impact, impact right the most the impactful yeah, people right now the economy okay. well, so the most the impactful yeah. players is that what you're asking exactly. in the global economy okay right. so yeah definitely the most impactful players currently uh, number one is OPEC uh, the supply of oil because everybody needs it another big one is China uh, Russia I would say uh, the United States uh, and in interestingly enough, some it's like a, a it's a collection of I would say these kind of uh, you did, wouldn't expect third party countries like Prussia and uh, Venezuela and like Taiwan. There's like these other little countries that are doing some things that are kind of fitting into these bigger right. picture. Uh, and that's fascinating when you look at that. Oh right? yeah, when you look at the detail in specific, I mean it's. It's a little worrisome, but I'm not going to get into it. Yeah, <laughs> but can you can you ma name like we we when we both look at it, we are more like visionary people. When we look at big picture, most of it all, can you uh, tell people like what are allies on one side and what are the on the other? Can you tell like like okay, that? Yeah. yeah, or a little bit. The thing is, it's hard to get into it without making a political statement, and that's not my goal. Yeah, and. To go into detail would take too long about these things. Uh, I'd say those are the those are the big players. You, yeah, you just heard but, them. But and they are pulling. Well, yeah, yeah they're 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 pulling. doing their own thing. I would say though that with so much going on and trying, I, I can't connect it. I can't connect these things with just in a short. In a short yeah, yeah. It, it it would take me hours to try and explain. <laughs> Maybe we'll have another video sometime talk about one a, a specific topic that is also outside of the pol politics and and about money and uh, see how that ties into Well, what I could tie in to your wonderful program that I, I actually think is I, I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you a little un Absolutely. unexpected promotion, but actually, Absolutely. so what I what I think is a, a genuinely a great idea is to do the business, the money part yourself, uh, and the best investment you could make is in yourself. And the, looking at your program, I feel like it would it would really help somebody understand that it's it's hard to understand companies because i mean i work with them too like i have to i have to do the accounting i have accounting homework i have <laughs> I, I, companies get really complicated but what i love is that you can it gets so detailed so cluttered but you can have like you made in your course separate kind of bubbles that kind of fit in this bigger yeah. collection of details in a way that somebody can can digest get the, it. get the big picture and then if they want to dive into on. details uh, they will know where, what to do where to look for but uh, the, yeah that's what I thank you so much <laughs> because I, I put my heart into it and I also think it's like awesome 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 program <laughs> so we'll talk it, about the programs like really soon but it is, is and when it when I I do a lot of I mean it's just part of what I naturally get into is trying to look into the future by this is why I look in the detail in the global economy and the setting. I, I try and understand things at a deep level and, and at the same time see the big picture with the deep level. And the way it's layered, the patterns of 
what the, your program is providing, it's a long-term thing. Yes. I'm a long-term investor. And I'm a long-term thinker. Yeah, and <laughs> whoever, is, whoever gets in on it first will be very happy. Yeah, <laughs> whoever gets in on it first. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe. And tune in for my next video when I'm going to talk more about my program. Currently, the part of it is called Maintain Momentum. And uh, if you want to know more, uh, send me a note and I will add you to my email list and you will get notified when it's launched. Like really, really soon. Subscribe down there. Down yeah, there. subscribe, <laughs> like, like, make sure to share. share. Let everybody okay. know. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.